Welcome to Haxby Shed. Having decided not to buy a milling machine, I needed to get a milling attachment for my lathe. I saw that somebody was selling a genuine Harrison milling attachment for my lathe, but they were asking £400 and I wasn't going to pay that. On eBay, there were numerous milling attachments described variously as Myford lathe milling attachment, but they really didn't look the right size and they, and they were 80 to 90 pounds each. And when I thought about it, a milling attachment isn't much more than a top slide turned on end vertically. And the top slide has to come off anyway to fit the attachment. So I thought, hang on, why not make one? So I spent a bit of time measuring up. I measured the range of travel of the cross slide and the position relative to the center line of the lathe. And I looked at the height of the cross slide deck with the top slide turned on end and looking at the fixing position relative to the center height of the lathe. With all the measurements I needed, I could start work on a design, which I did in Microsoft Visio. And as I was building this myself, I realized I could build in more capability than I would get with a standard milling attachment. I designed a vertical stand which would clamp onto the top slide fixing position and be able to rotate 360 as a top slide does. But I also designed an adapter plate which would take the stand much nearer to the center line of the lathe and allow it to face directly into the cutting tool into towards the chuck. Next, I ordered some 6mm plate cut to size. I've no idea why I photographed this on top of a drain cover. I machined a hole in the vertical stand base plate where it was going to fix onto the cross slide. And then I cut out the remaining pieces for the vertical stand. This was the vertical stand before welding. I tried to do the minimum amount of welding and also to weld on opposite faces to try to reduce the amount of warping. And on the subject of warping, you can see the base plate is no longer flat, circled in green. So I cut the offending welds with a die grinder and took it over to the press to flatten the base plate. And then I re-welded it and this time I got it right. Having made the vertical stand, I could start work on the adapter plate. Here I'm machining the hole in the adapter plate where it's going to fit onto the locating peg on the cross slide. Here you can see all the metal work together and how it swivels. I painted it in grey, just the same as the lathe. And this paint, by the way, is oil resistant floor paint perfectly suitable and much cheaper than so-called lathe enamel. Now I could fix my top slide vertically, but I had to have a way of fixing the work to the top slide. I saw a little boring table and I thought that'll do. So I machined a hole for a cap head socket. Everything was done, so now I could try it out. This was a little test job. This was a real job with setup first and then machining a keyway. And here's another real job machining a couple of flats on the base adapter for my Multifix tool post. Well, that finishes the milling attachment, but since I had the welder out, I thought I would make myself a cross slide stop. And with that, it just remains for me to say, thank you for watching Hacksby Shed.